I was speaking with Jody at Free Old Tire Pros and we're going to be giving away a full set of Falcon high performance tires. Good evening and welcome to the channel. It's another shitty day in New Jersey and I mean extra shitty with shit on top. It is 20 degrees. It's time to say goodbye to the summer tires for the Hellcat. Now I know I should have done this last week when the temperatures fell below 40 for the first time as these tires really can't handle anything below 35 or 40. However, I've been very busy, but today is the last day for the summer tires and I'm putting on the shitty Pirellis in order to get through the winter time. So I'm gonna get this done. Then I got some new stuff going in the Integra Type R. This is gonna be awesome. In yesterday's video, I asked you to leave a comment and guess on which brand of speakers you think I'm putting in the Integra Type R. Now's your chance again. I'm getting ready to show you which ones are going in the Type R. Let me know in the comments below which brand of speaker do you think I'm going with for the Integra Type R. I'm putting in kickers, which are the DSC 650s. Uh, they're very good speakers for the price. Now they're 100 watts RMS, 240 peak. I won't get that unless I'm using an amp. With the head unit, I might get 15 to 20 watts RMS, which is a lot better than any factory stereo system even today. These will be as good or better than the Durango or the Hellcat stereo. Uh, once I put in an amp and pump these up to 50, 75 watts RMS, they'll be very powerful inside the car. And I'm going to be doing an amp install possibly in the future. Now this is a big upgrade from a factory system and considering my Integra is a 2006, it's leaps and bounds better. I guarantee the speakers in the Integra right now around the cone are blown and they're 100% paper, which sucks. So with the DC5 chassis, which covers the base RSX, the Type S, and the Integra Type R and Integra Type S, all the exact same, they did a very weird thing with the stereo system. The back speakers have enough room to accommodate a six and a half or a 6.75 inch speaker, but you can only install five and a quarter. The reason is there's three mounting points and they offset in a weird manner that you have to drill into the plastic, which is never gonna fully secure the speaker the proper way. Well, unfortunately I had to fabricate the speaker to make it fit and the mounting bracket adapters that I have are useless for the rear. And the reason being is the RSX slash Integra rear speaker speaker mounting positions are so tight that these speakers won't fit because of the four protruding tabs. So what I did is cut the four tabs off and by doing that the speaker is now completely and perfectly round. So it'll fit the mounting position for the rear speakers on the Integra slash RSX. So now what I did was I mounted this up to the adapter bracket and lined up the three factory mounting holes that's also present on the adapter bracket and marked them and then drilled them out. So basically I have one spot here, another spot there, and then another spot right here, allowing me to line this up with the three factory mounting positions so when I slide it in, I can just use the three factory positions. However, the factory screws are not long enough, so what I did was, since I have my fender liners off, I used the screws from the fender liner. So side by side, here's the factory screw for the speaker, and here's the fender liner. It's about 40% longer, a little bit wider, and a bigger contact area for the washer, and it goes in nice and snug. So I'm gonna take three of these and put it in each speaker. So when I call my contact over at Acura Parts. I'm just gonna order six more of these so when I put my fender liner back on, I will have them, but it works perfectly. So I finally finished and you can see the kicker is right behind the factory speaker cover 
and it looks great. Unlike any RSX I've ever seen, my Integra had a type of insulation on the inside of this speaker cover that I had to remove. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute, which would have muffled the tweeter, but I removed it. So you can see this just pops right off and there's the kicker speaker inside three factory mounting positions. A little bit of fab work needed to make these work, but it's worth it as the front speakers from the factory are crackling and rattling and nowhere near as crisp or as clear as these. And everything is nice and tight, no rattle. And just cover it up to make it look better. There we go. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and it sounds phenomenal inside the car, so much better. Now here is that insulation cover that came off of the inside of the rear speaker cover. I've never seen this on any RSX before, ever. And I've worked on a lot of them. Very strange, but I removed it, just never seen it before. Well, that's gonna do it for today's daily vlog. Got the winter tires finally installed in the Hellcat, and I got the kicker speakers installed in the rear of the Integra Type R. Now, I do have another set of kicker speakers coming for the front doors this weekend, and I will install them in another video this coming week, along with at least six more goodies that are coming for the Integra Type R. And I do have a couple of mods and a bunch of fun videos coming for the SRT Durango. I am going to GT Haas, it's less than two weeks away. Way. Now, some really cool stuff, guys. I was speaking with Corey from Tall Guy Car Reviews. He may be coming out to Chicago to shoot some videos with me. That will be fucking awesome. I cannot wait to go to Chicago and meet up with Paul at Family Cruising and a really good possibility of meeting up with Tall Guy Car Reviews. I think that's going to be dope as shit. Can't wait to do those videos. Now, some really exciting news. I'm going to be doing a giveaway, my very first giveaway. Gotta get the channel to 10,000 subscribers by January 15th when I go to GT Austin, Chicago. I was speaking with Jody at Free Old Tire Pros and we're gonna be giving away a full set of Falcon high performance tires. So share the channel, get me to 10,000 subscribers by January 15th and that giveaway is going to happen. I have so many more ideas and giveaways I wanna do over the coming months, but I gotta hit 10,000 subscribers by January 15th. Help me get there guys, share the channel with everyone. I know you guys can do it. 3,000 more subscribers, actually less than 2,900 to go by January 15th. I know you guys can do it. Share the channel with everyone. So there's 7,000 plus of you guys that are subscribed to my channel. If you each share it with everyone you know, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I can hit 10,000 subscribers easily. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. 10,000 January 15th. Full set of Falcon high performance tires will be my first giveaway. And I have so much more stuff I want to give away in the coming months. Let's get it. I'm Corey with Driveway Demons. Until the next video. Remember, have fun and be safe.